Hello everyone and welcome back to the Option Writer. Just wanted to do another video for everyone tonight. It's Monday the 7th of June. Uh, pretty good start to the week for the Bears here. Uh, I really thought that over the weekend something would come out of the Europe area, debt crisis, uh, BP oil spill, etc, etc. But it seems like there's just nothing but a plethora of bad news. So uh, as most people say, the easiest route is down, and that's where the market's going to follow. I think that when most people think about the markets these days, um, I think they're getting a little bit too preoccupied with the news and not necessarily the fact that there's just flat-out uncertainty in the market. And I've said this over and over again, and, and you can look back on the post, uh, you know, the market hates uncertainty, and that's really what you have to trade against. As soon as there's any type of certain... Uh, forecast or, or uh, plan that that might be coming into place whether it's in Europe the US whatever uh, whether the plan works or not or is good in the long run or not the fact that there is something in place uh, really uh, will send the market higher or at least in my opinion um, taking a look here at the chart of the uh, S&P uh, I want to go over a chart of the S&P and then we're gonna look at the dollar and the euro uh, really quick here tonight the S&P uh, had a tough day um, with the broad market. Friday was pretty bad. It was sustained selling, which was uh, not necessarily uh, a bad thing, uh, but it was definitely uh, not good for the bulls either. It wasn't a sharp, uh, quick sell-off here like it was here. It wasn't a sharp end-of-the-day pullback. It was pretty much all day long on Friday. It was just slowly selling off. Then today, we tried to rally against that and, and really didn't come anywhere. Now we're getting back down close near the bottom of this huge hammer pattern on the daily chart. Now, typically the last line in the sand or the last area of support is right here at the base or the bottom of this long hammer pattern, this wick. And that's around 1140. So we still got about 10 points to go on the ES or the S&P. From there, it'll really be up to the news. I think that if we get any type of news out there about any sort of plan, just a hint of a plan or a bailout or whatever, again, not that it's necessarily good for the market or the economies in the long run, uh, but as far as the market is concerned, trading is concerned, I think that a little bit too much uh, bad expectations priced in the market right now. If we just take a look here at um, the dollar index, and this is actually the UUP ETF, uh, a great way, the, the bullish ETF, the UDN is the bearish ETF on the dollar. Uh, but you can see that this thing has just had an explosive performance and, and a far cry really from what everyone thought was happening back in the later part of 2009. It just looked like the dollar was getting crushed. There's no end in sight, right? And now you see that the dollar is clearly, um, you know, winning the day against the euro with all the problems. The thing that I tell people to be a little bit cautious about, and I, I told you know my readers this a long time ago too um, and let me just back up here to a 10 year uh, is that it's getting to the point now where everyone thinks that the euro is going to get crushed uh, and I think in the long run it's doomed but I think that right now we're in the same type of mindset that we were back here and you can see that I'll just draw a couple boxes here but you can see that you know it just got crushed back in late 2008 had a nice recovery over the next year and a half. Now the same thing is getting it's happening right now. It's just getting absolutely crushed. I wouldn't be surprised if this is a good time that it actually starts to defy gravity and move up into the 135, 140 type range over the next year. Um, I know that's a pretty bold prediction in this day in market, but uh, it is what it is. Um, so that's how, how the markets are kind of shaping up. As far as we're concerned, everything's good. We have couple days until expiration here. Um, all of our positions are profitable and looking great. Uh, and we always welcome you back. Happy trading.